Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Evrol D'Souza. I'm a photographer from Mumbai. Uh, I do a lot of wedding events. Uh, we do a lot of baby shoots, a lot of birthday parties, uh, you know, different kind of events that happen uh, all over Bombay, Pune, Goa, etc. Uh, so today I'm here to talk to you uh, budding photographers, you know, a little bit of uh, the basics of photography and uh, what are the different modes that you can use or probably uh, you know go away from your entire automatic process and you know step into the whole manual process of uh, using your camera so today i'm going to teach you a little bit of the basics uh, that you can use uh, in order to make your photographs look a lot more better and where you can have control over what kind of shots that you are looking for and uh, I'm going to tell you the different functions that uh, you might find on your DSLR, your digital cameras or any of those cameras uh, that you use in the manual mode uh, and you know nowadays uh, even uh, mobile phones are there uh, going towards the entire manual mode and you know giving you all the options like as in a DSLR so today I'm going to explain to you the basic and what are those uses they might be called basic but they are the most important in how you bring out the best of your photograph and um, make your uh, subject the picture that you're taking it could be a landscape it could be a portrait it could be a wedding picture and how to get the best out of it from your camera be it a DSLR be it a mirrorless camera be it your mobile phone so here it goes so I have a DSLR out here with me and uh, this is your uh, Canon 5D Mark III it's one of the most famous cameras that was made it's uh, not an entry-level DSLR it's more of a professional DSLR and uh, so yeah it's been with me for the past five and a half years that I have been doing my uh, photography and I'm going to show you when you put it on I'm going to show you there are different uh, options out here on your camera uh, if you can see that here uh, and I'll show it to you and I'll explain to you what these mean and uh, what will they do to help you get better pictures okay so yeah here it is So basically the three things that uh, are the most important in your DSLR or in your camera are uh, number one your shutter speed, number two your aperture and number three your ISO. These are three basic and the main things that go into making a manual photograph. Now I will explain to you each of them in brief uh, as to what they are and what they mean and how they could help you make a great photograph. So guys, the shutter speed, uh, the meaning is in its name, uh, it says how quickly the shutter moves in order to capture the picture. So for example, if you're clicking uh, somebody dancing, you would want to keep your shutter speed high. Now when I mean high, now shutter speed always has this kind of uh, depiction. It has one with a slash and uh, uh, the number that keeps changing. So, so for example, if you're taking a photograph of somebody dancing, you would want to keep your shutter speed high so that you get more number of pictures and you don't miss out on that one pose that probably could make or break your photograph. So shutter speed has two uses. One is the lower the shutter speed, the more the light gets trapped into your camera and you get a more brighter picture. So Now we're going to talk uh, about the second thing that is your aperture. Now uh, aperture is uh, you know something that controls the light that comes into your camera. It determines whether the light required to click the picture uh, you know will help you get the picture bright or help you get the picture dark it depends on what your composition of your picture is now example if you're in uh, clicking a picture in the night 
and you know uh, there's just uh, two three beams of the street light and you think that you know uh, you're not getting a good picture all you got to do is take your aperture lower so a 50mm lens and the aperture of this lens is 1.8 so that's way below the one that I had previously on my camera and I will show you an example of uh, you know clicked at a higher aperture and a lower aperture now another another thing for the aperture is that uh, it can also control the amount of background blur that you have in your picture so say for example I am sitting here and there are the guitars behind me so if I click a picture with this lens and if I set my aperture to the lowest which is 1.8 I will be in focus and the guitars at the back will be blur the next and third and the last topic that we are going to talk about is uh, your camera's ISO that's your camera's light sensitivity now what this uh, you know eventually determines on uh, for your photograph is that it helps to uh, uh, bring in uh, to brighten your photographs is what uh, you know the light sensitivity in your uh, in the picture that you are clicking so what it does ISO is basically it just brightens or darkens your uh, uh, photograph now uh, uh, you've seen these examples that I've showed you of each of these three what I would suggest is to uh, take your cameras if you have them even if you have your mobile phones and play around with the different kind of uh, settings see what's best in which lighting which available light you have uh, have a little fun and uh, maybe if you need any help on these three topics uh, do holler at me and uh, yeah I will help you with anything that you need the next uh, video that we are going to do is about your uh, light and how you play along with light which is one of the most important things about photography. I hope to see you tomorrow and all the best.